Okay, so today is Matariki. For everyone that uh, probably isn't in Aotearoa slash New Zealand, Matariki is a Māori uh, public holiday. And uh, yeah, it, most people probably don't know about it. So I want to make like a little essay about it. It's not too long. It'll probably be like five minutes max. But I just wanted to do a little essay about Matariki and um, who and why it's celebrated. So I hope you guys enjoy. Happy, Matur happy Matariki to everyone. In New Zealand's crisp winter air, a cluster of stars and nights in the pre-dawn sky, marking the arrival of Matariki, the Māori New Year. Far more than just a date on the calendar, Matariki is a vibrant celebration steeped in tradition, weaving together remembrance of loved ones who have passed, celebration of life and the bounty and the promise of a fresh start. Let's delve deeper into the heart of Matariki, exploring its origins, who and what it celebrates, and how it continues to hold immense significance in contemporary Aotearoa. The story of, of Matariki begins with the vast canvas of the night sky. Māori, with their incredible navigational skills, relied on the stars to guide their journeys across the vast Pacific Ocean. The appearance of Matariki, the Pleiad star cluster, coincided with the beginning of the Māori lunar calendar in the shortening days. The celestial, the celestial signpost signaled the end of planting season and the, the, trans, and the transition into Tetahi, the cold and dark period of the year. Traditionally, Matariki wasn't a single entity, but a collective of nine stars, each representing a different aspect of life or ancestor, which is you know f family member these stars have specific meanings some are linked to deities like tangaroa god of the sea or rangi the sky father or others embody concepts like health tupanuku or knowledge the wehenga by observing the position and clarity of these stars people could read the future gaining insights into the potential harvest and the well-being of their community matariki <laughs> Matariki held a profound significance in the Māori worldview. It was a time to acknowledge those who had passed in the previous year. Ritual fires, ahi Matariki, were lit, and offerings made to guide their spirits to their final resting place amongst the stars. This period also served as a commemoration of ancestors. Their stories and their knowledge passed down for generations. Through karakia, which is chants or prayers, and waiata, songs, their memory was kept alive, ensuring their presence in the ongoing cycle of life. With Matariki's arrival, the focus shifted towards the future. The knowledge gleaned from the stars helped people plan for the upcoming planting season, ensuring beautiful harvest. Communities came together to celebrate the fruits of their past labor, sharing food, and elaborate feasts. Laughter filled the air as Fano reconnected strengthened their bonds and planned for the year ahead. Stories were shared, tr traditional games were played, and the joy of being together was paramount. In the 20th century, Matariki celebrations waned as the dominant culture overshadowed indigenous traditions. However, recent decades have witnessed a remarkable resurgence of interest in Māori culture, and, Ma and Matariki has reclaimed its rightful place as a, as a significant significant cultural event. In 2002, Matariki became a national public holiday, a testament to its growing importance within the wider Aotearoa society. Contemporary celebrations reflect the evolution of Matariki. While traditional elements like storytelling, feasting and stargazing remain, they are often combined with modern exp expressions of cultural identity. Educational institutes incorporate Matariki into the curriculum, fostering a deeper understanding of Māori culture amongst all New Zealanders. Public events showcase kapahaka, the Māori performing arts basically, contemporary art installations and workshops that explore Matariki's significance. These events go beyond celebration, promoting cultural pride, fostering stronger community spirit and paving the way for reconciliation between Māori and Pākehā which is just white people. 
Matariki is more than just a celestial marker of time. It's a bridge connecting the past to the present and paving the way for a vibrant future. It's a testament to the enduring strength of Māori culture, reminding us of the importance of Fano, remembering our ancestors, and celebrating the potential of new beginnings. As Matariki rises each year, it illuminates the path forward, reminding us to learn from the past, embrace the present, and nurture the interconnectedness of life. In a world focused on the future, Matariki offers a valuable lesson to honour the past and celebrate the rich tapestry of life that connects us all. As the nine stars of Matariki continue the celestial dance, so too. <coughs> so yeah, that's my little essay. That's my little essay. But yeah, that's my little essay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just, you know, nice and quick. Something you just jot down. But I hope you guys learned a bit about um, Matariki and what it means to, you know, my people and what it means to Aotearoa. Um, I'll, I'll tell you guys the one thing, like one, the tradition thing we're talking about, you know, stargazing, feasts and that. We don't do, to, at least in my family, I can't say this for every Māori family or just every family in general. But usually if it's Matariki... Instead of like stargazing or feasting, I mean, we do like songs, chants and all that. But usually what we do is we like just setting off fireworks. Like if you come to New Zealand, you'll see that we love bloody fireworks for some reason. And we love them a lot. Like I love them, but where people are setting them off so much. They set fireworks off on like the most random days. It does get annoying, but hey man, New Zealand man. You know how it is. Shit gets wicked. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I love you. Happy Matariki. Stay safe. Make sure to say you love, you know, I love you to your family. And peace.